and Dan. You're mad. I get it. But repeating fifth grade? On Earth? Open the frog's mouth and examine his tongue. See diagram B. Go ahead, Emma. Emma? Do you mind? Don't you know it's rude to interrupt a conversation? You can talk to frogs? Of course. Frogs are from Albacore 7. Eons ago, they were sent to Earth on a discovery mission. We learned the frog's dead language in school. The same way you learn useless things like Latin and chemistry. Boys and girls, my teacher's aide, Alexis Billingsford, is coming by to collect your frogs and return them to the storage room. <laughs> How sweet! Four Eyes has finally found a friend as ugly as she is! Class, come to Friday's lab prepared to dissect your frog. What? Dissect our frogs? Cut up and dismember an innocent amphibian? Ah! We'll see about that. Are you sure the outfits are absolutely necessary? Of course! We're no longer students. We're mysterious, dashing cat burglars. Or, in this case, frog burglars. I'll kindly refrain from asking why you didn't try the sticky tentacle trick in the first place. Okay, here's the plan. First, we use the laser-guided electromagnetic pulse to blow out the electricity. Then, using these infrared goggles, we transfer the frogs one at a time via zip line to... saving my life, or the gentleman with the hat ate my souffle. What do you want from me? I only took frog for one semester. But I'm sure Fergie can understand what I say. I think. Maybe. but my sack has a hole in it. Do you know how to say the Billingsford twins are running over here right now? Of course. Let's see. Ah! I've got to get rid of these frogs. Stand back. Cut you red-handed, frog thieves. I knew you'd losers would be at the bottom of this. Whatever are you talking about, Alexis? What frogs? <laughs> Watch 
watching you, Emma. For as long as I can stand to look at your face, that is. Mission accomplished! I sent the frogs back to Albacore 7 where they came from. You sure about that? I've always wanted to rescue a damsel in distress. Do you think this counts? <laughs> Where are they? Where are the frogs? Are they here? Frogs jumping! Chaos! She's hopeless. <laughs> We're taking him. I've got to try to zap them back to Alvacore 7 one more time. <laughs> go tadpole on you. You can talk? Of course I can talk. I can also hop. <laughs> croak. <laughs> and catch things with a sticky tongue. Watch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, in fairy tales, all you have to do is kiss the frog to turn him human. Yeah, well, this ain't no fairy tale. And even aliens know that kissing frogs give you warts. Excuse me, the frog has the floor. I am not kissing Emma on the lips. And what makes you think I want to kiss you, Skylar? If you think this fairy tale stuff works, Pete, why don't you kiss Skylar? Uh, allergies. Open this door this instant, Emma, or I'll open it myself. They're gonna dissect me. Kiss me quick, Emma. <sighs> the things I do for science. I don't know what sick business was going on in here, but I'll deal with you students tomorrow, after you dissect your frog. We'll take that. Uh, oh. Dissection day is upon us, class! Hey! Our frog! I spent the night with the frogs, Emma. I think they can understand every word you've been... Uh, get back here! <laughs> Don't worry, Froggy. This won't hurt a bit. Or maybe it will. to say, Emma. I suggest you say it to the entire class. No, Miss Dowager, I have nothing to say. Except maybe this. Now, nice little froggies. Now, class, don't be alarmed. They're just frogs. Nothing at all to be frightened. Ah! Save yourselves, children! That was pretty.
pretty impressive, Emma. What do you say to them? Something like, run from the teacher, your lives are at stake. Actually, I'm new to this frog language, but I think what you said was more like, teachers are a tasty breakfast. <sighs> Stupid dead language. <laughs> Get ready, Skylar. I've got this zap thing all figured out now. No, uh, no offense, but scientific probability tells me your zap is more likely to kill me than cure me. Maybe we should go with the kiss thing instead. Uh. Uh. It worked! Well, not exactly. Tails rock! Fairy tails. It's more likely that Emma's molecular makeup is in such balance with her powers on Earth that when enough of her fluid, i.e. saliva, came in contact with me, it reversed said powers, returning me to my previous correct form. Whatever you need to believe, Skylar. Boys and girls, I regret to inform you that we will not be dissecting frogs ever. We'll be dissecting crickets. 